Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, this video is special because we have a special guest. Guest. Please meet Steven Richards from Firefly Studios. Hello, Steven. Hello, Sergio. Um, <laughs> I'm Steven. I'm a designer at Firefly. So I helped out make a lot of the campaigns and design the AI uh, for yeah. Stronghold Crusader 2. And I've been working on the two DLC updates that you've uh, seen so far, along with some more to come. So uh, you've been working on the Princess and the Pig DLC, and also on the um, the, the Emperor and the Hermit DLC. Yes, so I've been carefully going through and designing and testing all of the different skirmish missions that you have in those DLCs, and I've been trying to make them fun one, and engaging. One single man is doing all the job. <laughs> More than you might imagine. Um, but I do have a, lot, have a lot of help as well. I've got um, help from you know, other testers Order, and people who make men sure that I'm not going forward. completely mad in terms of difficulty or you know, the other things oh, I that I notice. Because you know it's easy to overlook things. I had I had a hard time with mission six from the princess and the pig DLC. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I do like to really uh, ramp up the challenge at the sir. end to you know, give everyone yeah. a good challenge. You know I um, I think starting with that mission, I had to play twice each mission. I mean mission six and mission seven. I had to play them twice in order to win. You know, from the second attempt I won. Usually I do the missions from the first attempt because I'm used with the game and everything. Wait, which color are you? Blue? Yes, I'm blue. Dark, dark blue, right? Yes, so I'm oh, south of you down here. I'm so gonna die. Ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. You're great at this game, but AI is not that challenging. I used to be great. Things have changed. I got old. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> oh, tell me about it. <laughs> mission 6 was uh, was hard. Mission 7 was a bit easier than Mission 6. But, you know... Oh, interesting. Okay. It's like good old times when uh, when you have to, to... to try several times a mission if you want to win it. I remember... I remember Stronghold Crusader had a... Um, a mission which uh, actually took me several attempts and it wasn't even the last one I did the last mission mission 50 and mission 80 from the first attempt but guess what uh, in the in the first trail at mission 30 I think some uh, the name of the mission is related with thunder and anything yeah but that mission was the hardest that would have been the final mission in Stronghold Crusader. It was so hard. <laughs> and um, let's get back to the sequel of Stronghold Crusader. I have here some questions that people have been asking on the internet. Let's start with the top yeah. one. Actually, it's really easy. It's mm. related with modes. Why doesn't Stronghold Crusader 2 has modes? We're as sad as you are to not see modes in the game, believe me. Um, it really came down to what we wanted to prioritize with the limited you know, programmer time and you know, that we had to, um, and, you know, and resources that we had to put into the game you know, in order to get it out the time we did. And um, it turned out with the engine we've got in place and all the systems we built up, adding mo moats in a launch would have been very, very time consuming. And we wanted to prioritize and, you know, getting it working and getting everything in as we, uh, you know, yeah, I see, I see. got it's so, so far in yeah, terms of the, the release of the game a lot. Um, but I mean, you know, we're still looking at ways that we can you know, improve the game going forward and add in new features potentially. Um, but um, yeah, yeah the question is, uh, Stephen, are there going to be modes? 
I cannot confirm anything at this stage. I'm not, okay, okay. I'm not going to definitively rule anything out, but um, Moat's particularly tricky because it involves terraforming the terrain, and you know, that's kind of, you really need to have your kind of engine set up to be able to deal with that, um, which is why it would be particularly hard with Crusader 2, um, or at least the programmers tell me. How, m how many weeks or months, months, months do you think it would take to to add modes and would it be would it be required to actually do some major changes to the game in order to adapt it with modes well we are discussing um, things like this and i think you would have to ask one of the programmers to know for sure but i think it would be a lot of work and i don't want to say anything in terms of yeah, what understand. we will do or what we won't do but in terms of adding anything at this yes, point, because I don't want to... Yes, sir. Depend on you. Column formation, men. I don't want to... Line formation, you know, men. kind of statements that Open I'm not order, in a position men. to know if uh, you can add or not. I understand, I understand. Yeah. And in terms of AIs, um, we see new AIs, for example, in the last two DLC. We, we saw uh, the princess, the hermit, the Emperor was in a was in a previous Stronghold series? In a previous Stronghold so, game? So we've had Emperor Frederick in the original Stronghold Crusader, but this is a different Emperor. Um, he's a kind of... So there are three uh, new AIs <laughs> in the last DLC. Nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a kind of uh, crazed Empire builder who wants to um, set out on his quest to the Holy Lands and uh, bring his empire over and you know, bring dominion over the lands. And, you know, that's why you can see in the um, south uh, east corner here. He's got this big castle he's building up and you know he's got a load of conscripts he's getting ready to send out once the peacetime ends. So he's definitely he's def very much a conqueror and he's you know, looking for mm -hmm. to expand his empire into the Middle East. Yeah, the the, um, the description sounds uh, really nice, Stephen. But uh, in terms of uh, difficulty, how strong are the new AIs? For example, the Hermit and the Emperor. Which is the strongest? Uh, and could you compare them with uh, the AIs that uh, are popular in Stronghold Crusader? For example, in Stronghold Crusader. The, uh, the Saladin and I think Wolf are the strongest, right? Would you compare the Hermit and the Emperor with, uh, with the AIs from... Uh, with the strongest AI and tell us where are they? Rat is the weakest, we know that. Yeah, so I've been trying to make the new AIs reasonably difficult. So, you know, you've got to this point, you know, when you downloading the DLC, you want more content to the game. You've gotten through the eight AIs that we put in originally, you know, going up from the weakest as the rat and then, you know, the strongest with the Sultan and Richard and the wolf. Um, so, you know, we, we figure you probably want a reasonable challenge once you got to this point. So the new AIs are reasonably tough. Um, the Hermit is kind of sneaky in a way because although you can't see it yet because we're still in peacetime he does build a lot of assassins and he will send them out en masse to um, take you by surprise and you know, it's easy to be caught out particularly when you don't have peacetime on as we do um, by his assassins because they can easily you know, sneak up on your lord without you noticing um, and then he throws in a bunch of other kinds orders. of units as well like he sends out groups of slaves and you know, he'll send out bigger sieges later so um, Hermit's kind of a sneaky character, there, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, he's he's actually blind, the Hermit himself, so it's kind of his way of uh, making it so that you know, just because he can't see your uh, armies coming, he thinks that, you know, why should you be able to see his as well? So he's kind of got some uh, you know, personality that way. He's, uh, it's quite vindictive, if you like. Um, and um, the Emperor is probably stronger than the Hermit. He um, is very much a sieger. He likes to send out big, kind of strong sieges with the pikemen and crossbowmen supported by sergeants. Um, and then he'll send them, you know, trebuchets and other siege weapons later. Um, he doesn't focus too much on harassing. You know, he's very much interested in those big, um, you know, 
conquering his enemies with the large groups. So he will, he will flood you with conscripts if you like, um, oh. with you know very large groups of them. But they're really just a kind of distraction um, while he builds up his sieges. Um, so yeah, I mean it's obviously it's hard yeah. to fine tune the difficulty with these things because the AI is kind of playing its own game in a way. Um, it doesn't really sort of play in the same kind of style as a human would. And we wouldn't want to make it that way because then you might as well just play multiplayer. Um, we very much try to give the AIs their own personality oh, yeah, and their own really kind something. of style of playing. That's why we make sure that they only, each one only builds you know, a select Peasants few needed, groups of units so you know what kind of um, you know, opponent you're setting yourself up against, and you know if you want to, you can mix different ones up together, and you can get different combinations Ready, um, sir. to provide sir, different challenges yes, if you want to play against multiple AIs. Um, we're, we're not so much looking to making the AI feel like you're playing a normal human. We're making them, we're trying to make them feel like their own kind of challenge um, to overcome. Uh, um. Yeah, in terms of when they siege uh, the the hermit and the emperor, a message when they from siege, the hermit. do they use trebuchets the or, or the, is rising. the emperor will bring trebuchets in after a while. He won't start off with trebuchets because that would be um, a bit tough. But the siege attacks will build up over time and they'll add new siege weapons to them. Um, and, um, so yeah, do expect. Trebuchets once uh, once he gets going. All, all Not all of them do. You find him um, you know, again. Uh, use the variety there to give personality to the different uh, characters. So most, I think, just about all of the AIs with these catapults because that's kind of a st staple part of any siege. But, you know, trebuchets are a little harder to fend off. You know, they can fire from far away. They're kind of Irritating in that sense, so you know, try and save them from particular AIs. That should be reserved for, yes, for the strong AI. Men at arms, forward. Yeah, I just been attacked by the hermit, and as you said, he sent a lot of uh, assassins. I expect more. Oh, I see you are under attack as well. Do you need help? You don't. Mm, I don't know. I think he's sending out well. catapult her. There. I don't have any crossbowmen yet. Yeah, I need to improve my my tactic here and to start producing some uh, some better weapons because I will be left behind otherwise. Hmm, you've got a very neat castle. Got everything. Yeah. Uh, it's enough to defend my ass against uh, hermit's attacks, but I need more if I want to actually deal some damage to them. If I want to make sire. a counter attack, but the hermit doesn't have a strong defense. See, he doesn't have tower ballistas, he doesn't have uh, uh, mangonels, so he should be easy to see. A message from the hermit. Yes, the ah! hermit's a bit they easier than the emperor to attack, happening. but he will be building up more towers later on. Um, and he'll be building up thicker walls as well, at least I think he does with this castle. Yeah, he, he will do. So, um, yeah, I mean, one of the things that we noticed with the original AIs was that the castles could be. Um, relatively easy to break through at times because of the single walls, so I did um, look towards building up thicker walls for the new AIs um, so that they'd be, you know, pack a bit more of a punch when you're, you know, sending those catapults and trebuchets at them. Um, they, they all build unique castles, right? Yes, so we're definitely yeah, trying we're to... Saying. We're definitely trying to give yes, the... Sire? You know, every AI has a very distinctive style in terms of its you know, buildings and the way that it you know, structures its walls. You know, so you, you take a quick glance at the castle and you can see instantly what character that one is. Um, you know, you can approach it in its own way. I must have the stocks are growing, sire. Uh, I'm doing really bad, Stephen. Oh, me too. I'm very distracted by this conversation. <laughs> Well, you're talking the most, so I have some time to to actually take care of the economy, but I'm not. I don't know. I'm busy. I haven't I haven't played uh, 
haven't played the game so much. Like we are now. under attack. <gasps> I'm under attack again. Attention, my lord. Okay. Yeah, those assassins are annoying, but they die fast, so I'm good. Can't no. place that there, my no. lord. Let's see. You are the third greatest um, lord. With the new, um, so you made uh, Firefly made uh, all the maps that came with uh, the DLC. Buildings out of flame, everyone. my lord. Yes, we did. This happened mm. with this DLC or with the latest update. Al Khuyul Jaisa. An update not too long ago. Yeah, so, um, the maps that are coming out with this DLC should already be available for everyone to play on. What led you to this decision? Um, I think we just didn't want to um, hold anything back from the fans, really, in terms of you know, being able to play on you know the same maps together. When you know when you're playing online, you, know, you don't want to split up the community and you know, hold off certain you know, pieces of content um, uh, from Peasants some people. Uh, and, you know, this way it just means that, you know, if you've got the DLC or if you Recruits don't, you can go online, sire. you can play with anyone you like, um, and you don't have to worry this about, you know, um, yeah, getting the compatibility there. And we just figured, you know, if we, you know, want to you know, reward our fans for sticking to the game and, and you know, there's no reason not to really. Mm -hmm. A good decision. Recruits needed, sire. Okay, uh, another subject would be the population limit. There are barely <laughs> any eight player matches in the multiplayer in the multiplayer lobby. As much as I wish there were more. And uh, the thing is there are still performance performance issues. Yes. We are aware of that there are still a lot of uh, improvements we can make in terms of optimization and that is at the moment our number one priority we are working very hard on improving the performance of the game so you should expect um, upcoming in the uh, next update or updates there should be a lot of improvements to performance in particular on multiplayer so um, yeah, hold on tight for that <laughs> yeah, Stephen, you know um uh, do you think in the future the a message limit from the for head? buildings and population Ooh, will actually be increased? Because when you play a eight players match, multiplayer, or against AIs, you have you have uh, such a low limit for buildings and units that you cannot actually do uh, much. I mean, if you want to seed someone. You will have Buildings to take, out of flame, my lord. You will have to take all the units that are defending your castle and attack that person. Because otherwise you won't have the the power to siege the castle. You don't have the unit and you have to leave your castle defenseless while you siege another player. You understand my point? Yeah, definitely. I mean that is definitely an issue yeah, when you're in yeah, larger so, games. And, so on hmm. on an eight player map when eight players are playing, uh, a higher limit for for units would be really welcome. Or it's almost to say there, there's also a limit, although it's not uh, specified. The limit is there, it's not pointed out, but it's there. So now, uh, for Stronghold Crusader 2, a lot of people complain that. There is a limit for units and buildings and they don't like it and so on. But it's okay to have the limit. But the limit should be higher in the situation I, I told you about for the eight players. Yeah, I mean it's definitely a tricky balance to make because we want to obviously make it so you can 
have those epic sieges even in you know, big eight player games but you know obviously we have to bear in mind as well that we don't want you know, people on the low spec machines who are you know, maybe not very far above our middle specs we want them to be able to still play the games in those you know uh, when you set up an eight player skirmish or multiplayer without you know things grinding to a halt so i mean by all means we'll definitely be open to looking at revising that if we can um you know make significant performance improvements which um, from what I've seen so far it looks like we can but um, we'll have to see we'll have to see how much we can make uh, improvements we, we can make in there, terms of you know, improving frame rates and keeping things stable because obviously when you've got eight players that's you know that's a lot of um, you know pathfinding and you know building meshes and things to um, keep track of and you know does become very intensive when you've got eight people all clicking about and doing lots of things at the same time. So we want to, yeah, we want to strike a balance between the... Uh, got it. Got it. Yeah, look forward to the future. And, uh, some you are the greatest lord! Yeah, um... <laughs> would you like to go to the... Uh, the questions that are coming from the fans? Sure, fire ahead. Oh. I have like six. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, um. Let me start. Uh, the first one is not a question, I'm just gonna do that to you. Tell him Stronghold Crusader is much better than Stronghold Crusader 2. Make <laughs> game like Stronghold Crusader. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite obvious that people are, are really fond of uh, Stronghold Crusader and they don't Mr. like Reed. changes. Yeah. Stronghold Crusader 3D. Wouldn't it be a great idea? Woman, string up! Yep, that would be a fantastic idea, I'm sure. Yeah, the, um, the, game, the, uh, the, uh, the game is already there, everything that the elements of the gameplay are perfect and if you can zoom in and explore and see the castles from, from different angles with 3D graphics that would be amazing, yeah. Just a crazy <laughs> idea. So sure, I'll make a suggestion, I'll see how it <laughs> goes down upstairs. <laughs> yeah. How about Stronghold Crusader 3? Did anyone mention Stronghold Crusader 3 yeah, at Firefly Studios? Not that I'm aware of. I don't <laughs> think we've got any plans, but I mean, I mean, we never say never. And oh, by the way, how many AIs uh, do you plan to add uh, until you stop updating the game and stop working on the game? How many AIs do you think it would be in the end for Stronghold Crusader 3? So we've got a couple more DLCs um, still to come, and we've got a couple more DLCs still to come, and um, they'll be set in the same style as the DLCs we've still had. So that'll make, um, you know, after this Hermit and Emperor DLC, there'll be four more AI characters to come along. But um, I should I should stop talking now. I'll give away things I'm not supposed to say. Um, if you say so, why do you want us to line up? Two more DLC, right? Yeah. Yes, it's DLC, it's gonna be. The game will have a lot of content. Yeah, we're definitely keen on making it full and content rich game with many tens of hours of gameplay if you want to spend that time on it. That must be a remove! There are some missions that are really hard, for example, the Hell's Teeth campaign. It's hell. Your Grace heading off! Yes, we are aware that our fans like a challenge in the campaigns and trails, so we do our best. Uh, and yeah, obviously it's, it's kind of tricky with the DLCs to strike the right balance, because you know that some people have finished all of the original skirmish trails and they'll be looking for something harder. Maybe other people have just 
Um, you know, just want to get the new AI lords and you know, see the new content. So we try to sort of mix it up with the DLC trails so that we've got a few easier missions and then some tougher ones near the end as well. Yeah, I've noticed, I've noticed there have been added uh, difficulty levels for uh, missions. I only s uh, is for our is is for all the missions from all uh, streamers trails, right? Yes. So easy mode will be available on all of the um, skirmishes in the skirmish trails. Um, and a lot of people. Um, yeah, the normal the normal is the normal what was all the time, and easy is actually easier than what I'm what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say here is um, when you launch the game there was no difficulty level for the skirmish trails. Now there are two levels of difficulty. Difficulty. Easy and normal. Yes. Normal so is what was from the start, right? Yes. And easy is easier than what okay. I just wanted to have that cleared for me. Eager to work, sure. my lord. According yeah, so to plan, we know that a lot of people so, are. Why do you want us to line up? <laughs> really, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people enjoy the, you know, the strong old kind of gameplay where you've got the kind of interesting mix of the kind of a town-based simulation where you know you're building up your village and you've got all the different resource economies um, and you know they're like the military side as well, but they don't necessarily want to make it as hardcore and you know the starcraft is that kind of sense um, uh, of a you know, RTS game that's, you know, puts a lot of pressure on you from the start to you know, build up your optimum build order and get things um, really tight. So um, we added in the easy mode so that you know, people who want a more casual experience and you know, take things uh, you know, a bit more slowly and gently can you know, play through and they won't have to worry about being rushed by the AI in the first you know, three minutes of the game. Um, and, you know, it makes it a more uh, yeah, relaxed experience, if you like. But also, the the sad things uh, in the multiplayer, you know, with um, with goods to sell and uh, what uh, siege weapons to allow. That's a really great. Uh, that's a really great um, add-on to the game. Peasants you know, needed, it makes sire. it more fun because having having a lot of uh, freedom in games doesn't necessarily mean it's more fun. I mean, having the game more and more realistic doesn't make it necessarily more fun. What makes the game Eager fun to work. is the rules I know that that are there. Moving to sight. Respect and everyone. Yeah, let's move on with uh, with the comments from the the stronghold crusader two fans. Yeah, so uh, from Luca the Baker. Did you expect a lot of success of the game or was it a big surprise? You are the greatest yeah, so, lord. Uh, I'm not sure if I I understand what he means. Let me rephrase it. Did the game was as successful as you? Mantlet ready, uh, according to plan. Something like that. Oh, I guess I should say thanks first of all for um, flying. We have had a successful game. Um, yeah, I think it's done very well. I mean, it's got. How can um, we help? You no, know, it's got had a fairly mixed Our reaction from critics, ready. but you know, from the um, uh -huh. fans, I think we've had a, overall a pretty good response. Uh, you know, we know that there's been a lot of issues with performance in particular. Um, but I think in terms of you know, the gameplay and you know, setting out the balance and the, you know, the core elements of the Stronghold kind of series that you know, make things fun Peasants in terms of you know, building up your sieges and you've got you know, all of the uh, economic systems tying in together. And, you know, the, the, I think in terms of like, the, the core um, features of Stronghold which make it fun, I think um, I'm pretty happy with what we've done. You know, we've got the... Uh, you know, we've got the you know, in the game, but you know, each with their own personality and you know their own styles, which you can sort of, um, you know, uh, 
set up your um, any kind of um, skirmish against and you can um, yeah I guess you can uh, yeah, it, it had the success against yeah I guess I did. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay let's go to the next one let's see Oh, that's actually interesting and uncommon. This one comes from Len Scry. He says they should make a program on creating new lords. I'd like to create my own lord with my style of playing. Oh, that will be. Yeah, sounds like a great idea to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm not sure what. Oh, well, I think he means uh, he wants to create. Uh, when he says new lords, I suppose he means to create to to pro to program them to 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 build a certain castle and stuff like that. I think it was ah. possible in uh, Stronghold Crusader with a certain software to to change. Um, Oh, you're attacking as well. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would join in with your attack. Yeah, so um, in str for Stronghold Crusader, there was a piece of software that allowed you to to design, and redesign the castles of the AIs. So the wolf had a different, had a certain pattern for his castle. You could change that and make him build the castle in with the shape of arc. And <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure if you are aware of that. Yeah, I've seen some YouTube videos. They look, um, yeah, they look pretty um, interesting. This um, what people have done with that. Um, we don't have any plans to um, add additional support for modding at the moment, but um, yeah, I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, oh, we have a comment from a mine. Damak. He says, less DLCs, more optimization. <laughs> he says, yeah. unplayable multiplayer. Yeah, we're, we're definitely, you know, very keen to take the message of our fans on board. You know, we do listen to, you know, everything that people say. Um, and, you know, we've definitely got the message loud and clear that we need to work on more optimizations. You know, that is, you know, our biggest focus at the moment so uh, I think we can be uh, optimistic in terms of you know, the, how the game will improve in the future in terms of playability you know when you've got large armies in the game um, so yeah that's good, that's <laughs> don't worry we've got that's good. We've, it's good to know that like, you guys are uh, with the community and are working on the game constantly to provide great content that's good. That's great. That's great. Okay, let's move to the next one. This one comes from Trixel Perez. I'm not sure if it's a question. Oh, uh, he says, when are they going to optimize the game for MAD systems? The performance is very poor with AMD oh, FX 8350, 8 GB RAM and ATI Air9. Yes, I've heard that we've had issues on these systems. I'm not actually up to date with um, uh, where exactly we got to with those, but I know I know that we are we are aware of these issues, and our programmers have been, have looked at it and have been working on it. But um, yeah, I couldn't say myself exactly where we got to with that. Um, suppose that answers his uh, question. So, uh, <laughs> I have a, um, a tough comment here from Hong Chuan. He says, how does it feel to destroy the all the best of Stronghold Crusader and replace it with the worst? Well, 
Okay. Everyone's welcome we to their opinion. <laughs> you know, I mean, the great thing is that the you know, strong old Crusader one is always going to be there. You know, nothing's going to um, you know, stop people from who do love that game from you know, playing it. You know, for as long as they like. Um, but you know, I think I think what we've done with Crusader Two is we have added a lot of you know really cool new features. And, you know, we've made a game that's um, I think in the majority of ways I think. We've made a game that's better than Crusader One, but you know, obviously that's that's my opinion, and you know, everyone's welcome to their own opinion. And I you know, totally respect people who you know big fans of the first game. And, you know, they still prefer playing that over the newer versions. That's you know. Yeah, uh, each one has its own taste. Oh, oh, a nice one from. There's another one coming from Matei Kiss. He says, ask them if they have the intention to make other type of real-time strategy games. For example, a real-time strategy game, mostly like Stronghold in the Renaissance era. I probably should remain silent and answer to questions like that, because I don't think I should be saying anything about what our future plans are. <laughs> so I'll take a pass if you don't mind. Okay, okay. And for now, this could be all. But uh, these questions. Oh. No, that would be all. Uh, well, Sivan, we almost killed. Um, which one is this one? The Hermit. Yeah, we almost killed him. We are now, I suppose our interview is gonna end here. The, the viewers have heard what was... Engineer detachment heading out. Uh, what was supposed to be heard. Preparing. Now, their questions have been asked. Password. And asked. Yeah, so Stephen, thank you a lot for uh, for your time, for answering all these questions for it's me. Okay. For your fans. It was a pleasure to, to play with you and see each other next week. Thank you for being here. Well, that's quite alright. Um, thank you for uh, the chat. I'm happy anytime. Come on, let's see if we can uh, at least get through the hermit before we finish. We've nearly got to him now. Hold on, I've got a bunch of macemen over here. How about I send them over? Okay, I see the macemen. Those guys are gonna do... Gonna do enough damage to kill the hermits. Macemen are pretty good. Yeah, there's no way... I mean... I like that the Emperor has a big castle. Big ass castle. Beautiful. Yeah, but definitely um, going for, um, I don't know, quite how to put it, more castle, less buildings for the, <laughs> as our de design philosophy, getting, get, you know, that uh, castle's really um, tough and beauty and, you know, something to really sink your siege weapons into. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you, d you, you designed all these castles? Yes. Nice, so, nice. Where did you inspire from, or is it all just coming from your head? Um, it was mostly just imagination. I did look through our old games, like our old Stronghold games, and see what kinds of castles we had, particularly for Stronghold Crusader 1. I was looking a lot at the kinds of castles we're in now. But I think, you know, particularly with the 3D engine, the fact that we've got sort of different shape, different sized tiles and, you know, the tiles and things, I was definitely looking to making things new and different. And, uh. Yeah, really nice. I like, I like, I really like the Emperor's Castle. It looks really great. Uh, okay, it looks like my macemen have failed to kill the hermit, which is a shame. Oh, shame. Oh, well. Yeah, well, guys, thank you a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, you enjoyed the game, and uh, 
Yeah, what else? You enjoy the interview and all the questions have been asked and answered. Thank you for watching and thank you, Stephen, for being here with me. That's quite all right, Sergio. I'm happy to chat anytime. Okay, let's say goodbye to the viewers. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.